the greatest guaranteed assurance of God's assistance for getting miraculous assistance from God in re in raising your children for all Jewish parents in need of special help for their children is through their support of those who study Torah. In other words, by giving money to Torah institutions, not necessarily Chabad institutions, any Torah institutions. There were even people where the Rebbe said you have to give charity, but not to any institution of Chabad. The general, and by means of giving money, supporting Torah institutions, as by means of that, God will help you raise your children, that your children also will go in the ways of Judaism according to the way that Hashem wants. So you help other children to learn, and God will help your children to learn. Learning Torah is very essential. I mean, in Judaism, the essence of Judaism is education. That's why God gave a book. He gave a book to the Jewish people. In, in Judaism, children learn how to read at three years old. Three years old. <clears throat> it's a very basic thing. Everybody knows how to read. In, in, in I mean, there's some children that are dyslexic, some people that have problems. But it's considered to be a, a very rare that there is illiteracy in Judaism. In religious Judaism, I don't know if there is such a thing, illiteracy. Except in very, very rare cases. Because learning, but on the other hand, learning is not enough. It has to be taken to heart. The Torah has to be, a, 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 how do you say, a tool to make you love God, and love life, <clears throat> and not love yourself so much. That's what the Torah is supposed to be. That's what it means: proper education, not just to educate their head, but also to educate their heart. And this, you need a lot of help and blessing from God. A lot of prayer. So this prayer helps, good deeds help. But one thing that really helps is supporting Torah institutions. Good. Okay, now let's have the story. <clears throat> 